To be a successful options trader, you only need to make $100 a day. Out of every video that I've posted on this channel, this one about making $100 every day trading options has gotten the most attention in the shortest amount of time from you guys. So much so that I'm revisiting the topic and bumping up the goal to $150 a day. Could you imagine hitting your target every day before lunch without having to be glued to the charts? Some of you may recall from this first video where I talked about making 10% portfolio gains per day. Theoretically, if you were starting out with a $1,000 account, then you'd be looking to make about $100 a day. And for clarity, here's an example of what that growth could look like if you consistently made a 10% daily increase of your portfolio every trading day over 21 days. Wow. This is a hypothetical scenario. Real-time trading isn't always gonna be this straightforward. You have to consider news catalyst, market volatility, not to mention your own sanity that could affect your actual mm -hmm. trading returns. On those days, we're gonna be looking to take one to four trades. Using this type of approach is gonna help us capitalize on the market movement around trend lines, support and resistance levels, and previous high and lows. One of the easiest ways that you can do that is by using the breakout strategy. And my options trading group highlights this beautifully. We actually have a specialized channel that's all about bullish and bearish breakout trades. And this isn't just talk. I literally just took 19% profits and 42% profits on a bullish breakout option day trade position from this particular channel on TSM stock. And it's still moving. This happened yesterday and also earlier today before I actually filmed this particular video. And if you go to that channel, you can scroll and you're gonna see a full list of nothing but breakout trades where we're going to be tracking high volume stocks with strong momentum around support and resistance levels and when we're taking these trades we're positioning ourselves for the breakout now this may not be for you but it's definitely something to look into and also if this is your first time watching this video please make sure you click that thumbs up button for me it really helps the channel also subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. Now let's get into the actual breakout trading strategies and then the time frames for your charts. Three different strategies. Strategy one is going to focus on the day trading breakout with a volume indicator. You can use the volume bars on the bottom of your charts. For entry points, that's gonna be a bullish volume bar on a 10 to 15 minute chart. This bar signals strong buying interest and that's gonna be your green light to jump in. First, I wanna look at this particular breakout strategy with the volume. This trade that came from our bullish breakouts in the trading group shows that we have Delta Airlines potential for a bullish breakout with resistance around $47.18. Now when that posted later on in the afternoon, right before the market closed, we didn't have that much volume. If you put that on the watch list, the next day the volume increased and we saw a bullish breakout above that $47.18. We could have taken that trade and then taken profits right here where we saw that large bearish volume bar. The price didn't necessarily drop much, it actually consolidated there, but that could have been a great place to take profits. And so here we're gonna take a trade about 30 days out, slightly out of the money. We're gonna get 10 contracts because the premium's pretty low, around $100. So getting into this position, it would be roughly around $1,000. And so just checking here that it actually got filled because we did a market order. And so we're already in profit, about $40, which is great. And so then we can fast forward a few days to see how that turns out. Several days later. And we're already up around $800.55 on this position. So that's around 68% profits on a breakout trade. Outside of using good risk management and cutting your losses quickly at a certain percentage that you're comfortable with, so that can be anywhere from five to 20% or either a support or resistance level, if you're day trading, you can look to take profits anywhere from 10 to 30% instead of always waiting for those huge, large single gains like 100, 200, 600%. Sometimes that's not gonna happen and I promise you it's easier to get 10% on a trade than it is to get 50 or 100. 
Another place to exit is on the next red volume bar. So by waiting for the next red volume bar, that means a decrease in the buying pressure. You're essentially gonna be looking for confirmation that the breakout momentum is starting to get weak before you pull the plug. Moving on to strategy two. This is gonna be scalping for breakouts with short period exponential moving averages or EMA lines for two reasons. One, short period EMA lines like the three and the eight give quick entry and exit signals that are perfect for day trading. And so when you use that, you're gonna get quick profits and cut down on market noise. And then two, the EMA crossover points to short-term momentum shifts. So this is gonna help us get in and out of positions that align with the current trends. The trade signal is gonna happen when the three period EMA line crosses above the eight period EMA line. So when you see this cross, it's gonna be a strong indicator of upward price momentum, making it a great entry point now for the exit strategy the opposite when the three period EMA line falls below the eight period EMA line then it's gonna be time to pull back and lock in your profit that's gonna be indicating a potential trend reversal so our third strategy now this is where we're gonna use the power of the markets opening movement with the red to green day method this strategy is gonna leverage the first initial 30 minutes after the stock market opens. And we're gonna be using yesterday's closing price as a benchmark, looking for a breakout that is gonna give us quick profits within the first 10 minutes. And we're gonna break this strategy down a little bit more in just a few. Let's actually get into the target timeframes. We're gonna be looking at the five minute, the 10 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute and one hour charts. These timeframes are gonna be perfect for our breakout trades. For example, Think back to the alerts that we saw from the trading group. If you notice, most of these highlight looking at the one hour chart. And so the one hour chart is gonna show the longer term view and set the stage for us. Once we've established that longer term trend, then we're gonna move to the closer 15 minute chart for our intermediate perspective. This step is gonna be important in pinpointing the exact entry and exit points. The support and resistance levels are gonna be immediate targets and stop loss points for the trade. So looking at these different factors at those support and resistance levels is gonna get us to those high probability trades and making easier trading decisions. So we're gonna wrap this up. I'll catch you guys in the next one.